Hello students. So let's try to solve uh, one very beautiful problem from gate 2023. It's a very nice problem and this problem is mainly from spin and uh, let's discuss this problem and we will try to solve it. Okay. So it is given that uh, the there is a spin half particle and which is in state up up so which is in the state up up or you can say half half for x component so this is a state half half for x component so this should be very uh, much important that uh, actually this vector is eigen state of sx operator which is given by h cut by 2 0 1 1 0 and sx has eigen value h cut by 2 and minus h cut by 2 this is actually up state and this is actually down state and this is eigen value corresponds to up state and this is eigen value corresponds to down state and the eigen state is basically 1 by root 2 1 1 and for this eigenstate is 1 by root 2 1 minus 1 and actually in a matrix form this state is exactly 1 by root 2 1 and 1 so spin half particle is in half half in x for x a uh, uh, for the eigenstate of SX operator and which can be represented as a matrix that will be 1 by root 2, 1, 1. So this is uh, the state given and which is actually eigenstate. Now it is given that uh, there is a S component if S component is in XY plane. So we have basically this is my x axis this is my y axis this is my z axis and there is a unit vector and that unit vector is identified as x cap dash and which is making angle theta with x axis so if s will be along this x cap dash then we have one operator and this operator is a and this is given by s dot sx dash cap and where s is nothing but given by sx i cap sy j cap plus sz k cap and our x cap dash is nothing but this unit vector which is in actually xy plane making angle theta with x axis so this sx is nothing but I can write cos theta i cap plus sin theta j cap. So actually this uh, the component of S along this direction is uh, represented by a matrix and this matrix can be given by so A can be given by basically S component dot cos theta i cap plus sin theta j cap where s vector is given by sx i cap sy j cap and sz k cap and we can easily say the only i and j will going to survive and all other term is not there k has not any role so we have to also figure it out sy operator the sy operator is again h cut by 2 0 minus i i 0 so this a operator is given by h cut by 2 and 0 e to the power minus i theta e to the power i theta 0 we can easily figure it out that this is 2 cross 2 matrix this is 2 cross 2 matrix so this s dot x cap dash is also 2 cross 2 matrix and now 
we can easily figure it out the eigen value and eigen vector of this operator a and the eigen value of this operator a is given by so we can write this operator the eigen value of this is given by basically h cut by 2 and minus h cut by 2 because we know that uh, if we have s dot n cap has same eigen value of the sz operator okay so we can have this eigen value and if we can calculate the eigen state the eigen state will be 1 by root 2 and e to the power minus i theta by 2 e to the power i theta by 2 for h cut by 2 and this can be written as 1 by root 2 e to the power minus sign e to the power minus i theta by 2 e to the power i theta by 2. So we have two operator and we can write it in a vector form. So this can be also written as half, half and this will be in direction of x cap dash and this can be written as half minus half and this can be in the direction of x dash cap. So we have this all information. So what do we have to calculate? We have to calculate what will be probability such that this state will be in this particular state. So what will be probability such that this state or this state which is not given into exam that whether your state is this one or this one. So you have to check from both point of view. So this state will in the up state so that means in this state so we will check it easily because the calculation is very simple so let's try to calculate it so when we are going to calculate all this thing so the simple we can use the postulates of quantum mechanics and the probabilistic measurement and once we are going to calculate the probabilistic measurement then this value is given by so probability such that our state will be in up state that is h cut by 2 have its measurement is given by half half x cap dash and we have this will be half half x mod square so this will be our for if we are talking about this one so we can easily calculate this particular thing so our sorry this will be x cap and this will be x dash cap so this will be basically x dash cap so don't worry the thing will be is it same thing the answer will be same so when we are going to calculate it then from this particular state that this state will remain into this particular state then we have to calculate this one so this will be 1 by root 2 1 1 and here we have basically 1 by root 2 e to the power minus i theta by 2 e to the power i theta by 2 and we have to take mod square and when we will do this calculation this is very simply it is given as half and root 2 root 2 is half and 1 will be go to this so e to the power minus i theta by 2 plus e to the power i theta by 2 and we have to take mod square and when we are going to calculate this particular thing so this value is equal to basically given by cos theta by 2 whole square and this value is equal to cos square theta by 2. So probability into this state h cut by 2 state is equal to cos square theta by 2 and if you will take your psi as this state suppose in spite of this one you will just take this your psi from this state then you will get answer sin square theta by 2. So obviously if you will see the four option that four option the best option is this one because in the examination they are not giving which one is uh, the your state it is only given that uh, your uh, state will be only in up state so this can be in up state or this can be also in up state because uh, or down state and this can be also in down state but 
we have to talk only about the up state. So we have to take the projection of this vector along this direction, then we can get is get the answer. So this will be our answer and it is one of the best question in your gate examination. So you can just practice this thing. And if you want to learn more about this thing, then you can just take consult the R Shankar because all the theory of this book or this concept is given in beautifully by R Shankar to the book of quantum mechanics. Chapter 14. Chapter 14 and uh, page number 380. So you can just go for that one. And uh, this is for the second edition. Okay. Second edition. So you can use uh, this book to make this type of concept. So only solving the problem is not important. The important is that you have to just uh, go for all the concept and uh, try to understand all the story behind the problem. So thank you. Just try to do practice. And if you have any more suggestion, then you can easily give us. Thank you.